I think the thing that strikes many first time visitors is just how beautiful Herodin is. The trees, the fields, the buildings, the setting on the bank of the Thames. That was my first impression when I came here all those years ago. I'm actually still discovering new aspects of its character. Hello and welcome to this short introductory film about the Herodian School. My name is James Hook and I've been head teacher here since 1999. The school was actually founded in 1993 and for those of you who love history, the site used to be a very small farm on the banks of the Thames and then it evolved into the Harrods Sports Club. I joined the staff in 1995 as a geography teacher and then it was quite a small school with about 60 boys and girls and they were ages between eight uh, to 10. Back then, Herodian was already a very special place to learn. And since then, we've been building on those foundations. We've developed our pre-prep, we've built on a senior school, and we've developed a really fantastic sick form uh, on top of it all as well. Uh, we've developed our modern buildings, uh, which now accommodate just over a thousand boys and girls. I know the priority for many of you watching this film will be the specifics of joining year seven. We know what a vital transition year seven is. So our strategy is to make the process smooth, the welcome warm and the settling in harmonious. So I'm sure it's helpful for you to understand that we do actually currently have three classes in our year six. What we do at the end of the academic year is we'll break up those three classes and reconstitute them into five new classes and adding in the boys and girls uh, and evenly distributed to make up our five new classes. The induction process is just as measured. If you're offered a place at Herodian and accept it, we invite you to come to school for a year seven induction day. And in that day, you'll have an opportunity to learn about the school, meet lots of the teachers, meet uh, lots of other boys and girls joining, meet our existing year six boys and girls. We have all sorts of great activities for you to enjoy. We do some drama, we do some penalty shootouts, we do some confidence builders, we do some icebreakers. And the purpose of that day is that you will leave at the end of that day before your summer holidays, very confident that you've chosen a great school and you'll be very excited about joining us in September. At the end of the summer holidays, we actually bring you in one day before the new academic year gets underway. We're bringing all the new boys and girls and we have a special day for you where you can meet your form teachers, know where your form rooms are and just get all the questions, any anxieties you've got about starting the next day out of the way so you can make a positive start on your very first day at Herodian. The final and fun part of the induction jigsaw is about two or three weeks into the new academic year, we invite you to take part in what we call a coastal craft trip down to Dorset. This usually takes place over a weekend. It's a great way for you to meet other boys and girls within the year group, outside of your form group. You do kayaking, you do coastal earring, uh, you jump in the sea, you fish. Uh, it's a really fantastic weekend away. And you come back tired, a bit dirty, but really having got to know lots of people and indeed the teachers uh, there as well. So much for the joining bit. But what does it really feel like to be a Herodian? What are the key ingredients to our approach? Academic excellence is, of course, at the top of the list. On the prep school section of the website, we set out our diverse and exciting curriculum. We also outline the academic options available to pupils in years seven and years eight. But whilst academic attainment and achievement is central to what we do, other values are equally important. Underpinning everything we do at Herodian is our deep commitment to educate the whole child, morally, socially, culturally, and physically, both in and out of the classroom. For example, in year seven, the PSHE programme may be delivered by form teachers, heads of year, uh, and designed to, first of all, integrate children uh, into the year group, we also draw on the expertise of outside speakers who come into school to deliver bespoke workshops around some of the themes uh, that might be uh, existing within that uh, age group. Um, and actually, we also have a school counsellor, so if children ever feel the need to go and speak to someone outside of their teachers, we have that available too. Something which I'm particularly proud of at Herodian is the way we've built up our mentoring programme. The way this works is we twin together an older pupil, possibly from our year 11, or from our sixth form, twinned with a younger boy or girl who may be experiencing some sort of difficulties around friendships, around organisation, these sorts of issues. And it's a lovely way for the older pupil to develop skills around empathy and counselling and give some great advice to younger children who really, really do appreciate 
that bond that they form with an older pupil discussing things that may be difficult for them to discuss with a teacher or even discuss at home. Mentoring is just one strand of our comprehensive leadership program. Other opportunities that exist around the school to develop your leadership skills could be, for example, buddy reading, where boys and girls in the sixth form can apply to become buddy readers to develop the reading skills of some of our younger pupils. In year 11, what we call the 15s, you can apply to become a 15s prefect, and you're then buddied up with um, a particular form in the pre-prep or the prep school and help uh, younger children settle in in the mornings and assist them in any way that you feel might be, uh, might be right. Um, all of this is designed to peak when you get into the sixth form uh, where you can apply for very, very key roles within the school that assist us here, but also can assist outside of school in areas such as charity, philanthropy and ecology. The commitment to an all-round education you find in our pastoral policies is also evident in our co-curricular programmes. These supplement and strengthen classroom activities and give Herodians a lot of fun along the way. Clubs and activities are a real central part of uh, our program. In the prep school, we ask boys and girls to choose between maybe two, three or even four clubs that you attend per week. Some of these clubs might be in the morning before school, the great majority will be at lunchtime and one or two might even happen uh, after school. Um, we have about 50 at the moment to choose from in the prep school and you can imagine the main th subjects, music, drama, sport, dance, they have uh, a lot of clubs that you can choose from, but then we have the more diverse and esoteric clubs such as rocks and minerals, we maybe have chess, um, I know that girls football is extremely popular uh, as a club at the moment, and you can even put yourself forward for the headmaster's boule and pétanque club. There's a big queue for that though. So now on to Herodian trips. Obviously trips uh, also play a very important part of, the, of our co-curricular uh, program. Um, now trips can be divided into two. Uh, perhaps we just have a day trip or an afternoon trip, maybe a museum, uh, a gallery, something to do with art or music in the evening, uh, and we use London as a real base and centre of culture that we can then tap into. Then of course we have the longer residential trips which are great fun and they're time away from home, time away from school, great opportunity to develop your independence, your self-reliance, opportunities for team building, for leadership, uh, and actually at Herodian they're considered to be a bit of a rite of passage as well. And often I ask the teacher in charge of these residential trips when they return, who was your star performer? Who, was, who surprised you on that trip? And it's lovely to hear about children who don't necessarily always show their face in class becoming really stars on these trips away. So what are Herodian's co-curricular strengths? But I want to start off with uh, how excited I am about the emergence of STEM at Herodian. Now each year we hold a science week at which the year seven boys and girls are asked to compete in what's called a science fair. I think really partly inspired by their own experiences of that when they were in this prep school, our sixth formers have really uh, moved ahead and formed a research and development uh, club and actually now are entering uh, national competitions. And one of my favorites is actually the launching of a high altitude hot air balloon right up into the stratosphere and then chasing after it. And uh, last year we instigated more and more STEM clubs into the prep school. And it really is a fantastic opportunity for boys and girls to really get involved and develop their coding skills, engineering skills, and just enjoy all that STEM has to offer. STEM is a new string to our bow, but the arts, both visual and performing, are firmly established as Herodian superpowers. A stroll around the school is enough to reveal the huge part that art plays within our culture. Each and every corridor is filled with pupils' art, design, photography, Creativity is fuelled by pupils attending clubs led by our really wonderful and creative art and design teachers. So if you join Year 7, uh, you can take part in a whole variety of clubs. You can go to museums, galleries, you can take part in workshops provided by experts, and you can enter national and school-wide competitions as well. Our reputation in performing arts is extremely well known and continues to grow. I believe the opportunities that we offer to take part in clubs, performances, productions are second to none across West London. Dance of all kinds is a real passion at Herodian. Last year, every single year group from our year four, the eight-year-olds, all the way through to our sixth formers uh, enjoyed clubs uh, for their particular age group. Uh, we, we encourage a musical theatre, tap, 
ballet, street dance, whatever you guys want to do, we're very happy to put it on for you. Um, each year we have an annual dance show, and uh, this year we had over 200 performers at that show. Slight majority with the girls, but the boys certainly, the interest in boys dance is certainly growing, growing, growing. And of course we have the famous Herodian staff dance troupe, each year audition, and each year I never quite make the cut. We have a wonderful head of music, uh, Mrs. Ash, and her stated aim is to take the magic of music to the widest possible audience. And already I feel she's succeeding in that aim. Uh, we have about seven choirs who perform in our autumn concerts, our spring concerts, and also our big Christmas carol concert. And dedicated to our year seven and eight, we have a specific training choir, which the boys and girls really enjoy. Our list of musical groups is also uh, diverse, including, of course, orchestra, we have string ensembles, we have the jazz band. Uh, we really do encourage children to get involved across all a uh, full range of music. Um, in year seven and year eight, you can even join our band club, uh, which is uh, designed to help you to write songs, to learn how to perform songs, and even put yourselves forward for our annual Battle of the Bands tournament, where the winner gets invited to go and play at the Isle of Wight Festival on one of the big stages there. What an amazing fun. One of the things that makes participating in music at the Herodian extra special is the way that it brings our community together. Unlike many schools, our music groups are chosen by ability rather than age. Many strong friendships have been forged in this way over the years and it's an approach which contributes hugely to the special spirit of Herodian and bringing children together. Our drama programme has a similar sense of fun and community. Across an academic year we might put on as many as 15 different productions. Um, some of these might be small studio style productions across one uh, or two year groups. Others may be our full-scale West End blockbuster productions uh, which have a cast of 60 uh, or more. Um, so if you are to come here, then perhaps you'll find yourself auditioning for things as varied as Macbeth, Oedipus Rex, The Snow Queen, or even Legally Blonde. I am a sports fanatic, so of course I'm absolutely delighted that Herodians have so many opportunities to engage in sport um, throughout their day, throughout their week, throughout the term. Uh, this could be through our timetable lessons, through PE uh, and through games, across the main sports. We're talking about netball, hockey, rugby, football, cricket, swimming. The co-curricular programme also encourages participation in sports such as karate and fencing. And of course we have an amazing fixtures programme which takes us throughout the whole year across all age ranges, across both the sexes and I'm so pleased that we are competing um, uh, strongly nationally, locally. There's nothing more I'd like to do uh, on a Saturday morning than come to school and watch our pupils uh, competing hard and also seeing parents sharing this experience with their children, with their friends and even their dogs. I hope you now have a strong sense of both the values that guide us at Herodian and the opportunities and activities that exist for our pupils. But what about the results you may ask? I'm delighted to report that our A-level and GCSE results consistently confirm the Herodian as a high achieving academic and successful school as well as a happy one. Our results across all subjects have been improving steadily over the last 10 years. Now the average Herodian is leaving with mostly A grades and some do even better. Well over 80% of our A-level students are now consistently achieving the grades they need to go to their first choice uh, educational destination whether that's here in the UK or overseas. If this film has whetted your appetite to see more you can arrange a visit through our admissions department uh, to come on one of our regular tours. If you decide you want to apply for a place, you can find out all the details about the application process by logging on to herodian.com forward slash admissions and following the link marked admissions process. The first priority for 11 plus and indeed all our candidates is to ensure that you meet our registration deadlines that are published on the website. A great first stop to familiarize yourself with the school is the prep life section on the website www.herodian forward slash prep forward slash prep hyphen life and finally thank you very much for watching this short film i hope you've enjoyed it and i very much look forward to meeting you at herodian sometime soon